Hello everyone, I am your host Melee Wizard, and welcome to Let's Play Scourge Hive. There's a bit of a story behind why this game is on my list to begin with. Back in 2015 thereabouts, I did a, a poll on Pure ZC to determine the, uh, the next RPG that I was going to do, since I was kind of at an impasse on that one. I believe that poll ultimately led to Kingdom Hearts 1, but in addition to the options that I had on there, I allowed it for uh, write-in votes, and this was one of them. I don't remember who it was now, because I even tried to look up the original thread, but it appears to be long gone now. But what little gameplay I did from this, it definitely looked interesting. And the more I think about it, the more I realize that the... The, the line between action RPG and Metroidvania can be kind of thin, and I think this game might fall somewhere in that general area. So let's just, uh, let's see, what, uh, what options do we have here? Shooting, jumping, tether, weapons, okay. Ah, there we go. Ah, I'll have it on normal. Language, audio, yeah. So, yeah, I don't think I messed with the options too much, so okay. Uh, <laughs> normal, hard, and insane. Uh, I only have access to normal, so I'm guessing hard and insane are... I gain access to by beating the previous difficulty. That's interesting. And I think... Oh, we're seeing this part again. Okay, fine. So, from this little blurb here, it looks like the primary objective is just to get in, find whatever information, find whatever we can, and then get out. That's prob there's prob it's probably going to be more complicated than that, but that's pretty much what our mission is here going in. I'm s given this little part here, it, it I'm starting to see uh, some parallels between this and Metroid Fusion, but I'm, I'm the gameplay does it's not side scrolling. If anything, I think it's actually isometric. And I can't skip past this either. If I had known that, I would have star just started on the dang title screen. Oh well. I I want to get into the mechanics, but I want you to actually go into the gameplay first. Planet Enos. Excerpt 1, Rude Awakening. So apparently we have our little AI buddy here. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, great, we're under attack. So, have the Scourge taken over the weapon systems? Well, uh, that's good, I guess. I hope. Or not.
Oh, great. I think we've been invaded by the Scourge now. Reactor core and aft storage compartment. Alright. So I got jumping and and shooting, which I see I can only do it so much. Ah, there we have a map. Nice. Well, uh, I guess we're getting a good number of info dumps here early on, which makes sense. Security doors have isolated the reactor core to prevent further contamination. All right. Oh, is that what that is? Regain health and... So that's health and experience. Okay. So I can walk behind this stuff, but I can actually see myself while I'm... While I'm behind. That's an interesting feature. So the enemies here seem rather simple so far. Oh my. Uh oh, the AI buddies not having the best of days it seems. Receiving new warp coordinates? What? Where are we going? So it looks like I gained 15 health from that. Biomatter has Scourge variant. All infected systems and life forms must be terminated. Oh, all infected systems and life forms, okay. Do I have... Can I look up my stats here? Yes. Does it really keep track of my deaths? Okay. Don't have any upgrades, don't have any new weapons as of yet. So. Alright. Curious to see how far, uh, what kind of stuff I'll end up getting. Scourge and beta. Oh boy. Boss time. Ah. Well, that thing regenerates. There we go. Well, that's one health bar gone. Oh boy.
Thank goodness you have flunkies that heal me. Wow. Gaining a level midway through a boss fight. Sure. Cool. Healing pod spawned in. Down to one. Boom. Um, was that our warp course? Detect. Oh dear. This gauge will appear in the upper middle part of the screen will indicate your level of infection. And I believe this is one of the major mechanics of this game. Be aware that if the infection reaches 100%, your health will start to deteriorate rapidly as the infection takes over. If you touch the red scourge biomatter on the ground, your infection will increase much more rapidly. Okay. Let's get out of here. Well, now the question is, how the heck do we get out? Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, well, yeah, we're still we're still here. We still have a mission to do. Seven eight meters due northeast. Okay. that XP. Thank you. You notice that I'm, yep, I'm still gaining my infection percentage is still going up. Give me all that experience, especially if it gives me health while it's, while it's doing so. Jumpy, jumpy. Oh. Okay. So I can grab onto things. Good. Oh wow, that actually I wasn't I did I thought the rock was blocking my shots. Did I gain another level while I wasn't Looking? Maybe, maybe I did. 
Oh, now it's keeping track of my kills or something. Not not sure what any of those numbers mean, but okay. Oh, how nice. 1,658 signatures. Scourge variants in most of them. Ooh, security card. Yeah, that'll be important. So, it's basically keys with the Link's Awakening uh, key alert me compass mechanic. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Decontamination platform. Well, that's good. Yes, bring my infection level back down to zero, please. And is a full heal as well. And it's the save point. All sorts of good things. Searching for additional decontamination platforms. All right then. I guess you can I can only use it once while once while I'm in the room. Active data access ports. Okay. So... Okay. Not sure what those buttons do, but they exist. Okay, so I didn't get anything from them. But it's probably still a good idea to get rid of them. Ah, oh, so I actually... I can't... I, I do get experience from them, okay. Just didn't look like any came in, spawned in. Now, you must, in order to open sealed rooms, you must activate all of the countdown posts. Once you hit the first post, a timer will appear in the lower right corner of the screen. You must activate all the posts before the timer runs out or the system will be reset. Sorry, I'm focusing on getting rid of these guys. Oh, did I just level? Cool. Ooh, 
what is this? Again, tether gauntlet enhancement. It'll let you allow me to drag them. Okay. Oh, jeez. That's not what I thought that would look like. To Professor Jidan Biomedics Division regarding spe specimen handling tool. My apologies, but I won't be able to meet up with you later on this evening. Some of my colleagues have been experiencing difficulty dealing with labs in Lab 3. They have become increasingly hard to handle as of late. I promise to lend you the specimen handling tool, i.e. tether, to move some of your crates around, so I left it in the security chamber in the hangar bay 2. You'll just have to activate the timers. I won't be needing it until next week, so there's no hurry. Sincerely, Mino. Not sure if that was there previously, but it's there now at least. Isometric platforming. Always such fun. All right, first things first, decontamination. And I think, I think that's a good spot to end things off on for now. Don't have any more objectives, but I saw switches and I saw crates, so I'm sure that'll lead me to something that I can do. So I guess join me next time when we explore more of this place and see what other similarities to other games we find because that's apparently what we do. So until then, this is Melee Wizard and have a nice day.